I'm very vocal about how I like technology in cars. That just puts a smile on my face. Today we're in the 2019 Range Rover Sport HSC Dynamic. The thing looks fantastic. We're in it, it's super comfortable, and it has got the technology where I can open the sunroof by just throwing my hand, and it sometimes works all the time. I'm sure I heard that sometimes. <laughs> It is such a nice interior. The Range Rover Sport, let me just turn this down a little bit. It's a little bit warm in Melbourne today. The Range Rover Sport selection is so vast and deep. We're, today we're in the six cylinder, three liter, twin turbo diesel, and it's a great engine. They, they go from six cylinders to eight cylinders, they have petrol, diesel. There's such a wide selection all under this HSE area. So how are we describing it we almost have today the little dog of the big dogs <laughs> it's uh the hsc has got a number of different levels just like the autobiography has a number of different levels i don't know how the guys over at range rover keep up with it all to be honest with you but this thing from the outside looks absolutely fabulous i was so impressed when this pulled, pulled up <laughs> change lanes fast it just stays so stable the bonnet stays so flat it's really impressive if we just controllingly just jerk over into this other lane I didn't expect the car to be quite so agile I'm sure that's a good view actually of how little roll there is in the car really impressive it's a lovely car. Look, I love SUVs. I love this size of vehicle. You know, you've got the BMs, you've got the Mercedes, the Audis. And this looks very similar, except I just feel like under the hood, this car is so much more capable when it comes to actual four-wheel driving, actually handling off-road, actually swallowing up humps and road humps. And they're certainly better off-road, which is where this sort of size car is meant to be. But they are pushing hard on the refinement inside. A couple of years ago, Range Rover came up with an update. They just look fantastic. And now they've got the dual screens. In fact, we've got triple screens in here because we've got one in the dash as well. And the infotainment system's getting much more savvy. It's It's got a really nice dra point and shoot sort of option. Mm. There we go you can point and shoot and then select and it'll tell you the fastest way. I probably just selected the wrong way up the freeway, but it will find your way. <laughs> We've got 225 kilowatts in this car, which is fine. But then you add in 700 newton meters of torque. That's, oh, that's powerful. 500 used to be significant. But now oh, the, the bars have just been lifted. These, these car manufacturers just keep putting more power, more torque. Wow. And you can feel it. It doesn't matter whereabouts you are in the rev, rev range, which gear you're in, how fast, uphill, downhill. You can just... You just feel the rumbling under the uh, under the bonnet. You know there's power there all the time. When you flick it over into sport mode, look, it's a, it's a turbo diesel V6. I'm not expecting this to be elite performance, but it certainly tightens up the ride. The air suspension just becomes just becomes a bit more tough. You f you remain even sturdier around the corners. 
One thing I do like in this car is every time I pull up next to somebody, they look over. It's a, it's a nice head turning car. It's really nice. It's a nice feeling. I, I drive an SUV and uh, I'm used to the size. How does this compare to the X5 and, and, and the, the, uh, the Mercedes GLE? It's a similar footprint. It's a similar size. I just feel as though it's even bigger. And I'm sure there's only millimeters in it, but it feels like a big car with a big footprint. Very purposeful, going around, it just feels massive on the road. It'll be interesting to see when I jump back into an X5, how it feels size-wise. Really comfortable. Room in the back, we have passengers today. We have had passengers today. And it is uh, plenty going on back there. Wait till we jump in the back there. We've gone the uh, the DVDs or the, the, the whatever they are, the rear infotainment system, complete with headphones and uh, and remote back there. So if you hear any mumbling, it's, uh, it's our friend Nick in the back seat making a mockery of everything. <laughs> It's a lot of fun. I'm glad I came out in this. I've, I've driven the V8 before, and I've driven the uh, the V8 Supercharged, which is an absolute riot. But this car coming in Australia is somewhere around the mid 150s, depending how you spec them. But this is plenty of engine. The thing looks phenomenal from the outside. It looks really nice inside as well. Yeah, this is. Range Rover are really making moves and it's good to see.